This is Lee from The Inquirer, and I'm with Daniel Fletcher, is a senior products manager of Arbit Sound, and he's going to tell us about the unique technology involved in the M9 wireless soundbar. Uh, would you like to demo us uh, the, the product and tell us a bit more information about it? Okay, I can, I can certainly tell you about the, uh, the technology behind it. What we have here is a, a, a compact soundbar. We also do a, a longer version, um, but the technology in the two is the same. We at Orbisound have a, a unique approach to sound, so uh, most other people are talking about a left and a right channel or a left centre, a left centre and right channel, and they have speakers which are dedicated to each channel, trying to affect your ears. And the problem with that system is that you have to be sitting in a certain place in the room to get the benefit, to get what we call the uh, the, the sound field or the soundscape. Um, we've at Orbit Sound have turned it all on its head in a way. Um, what we've done is we, we derive a mono signal, which is very simple and straightforward, and that comes from the front of the sound bar. And then apart from that, what we do is we create a spatial signal. Now this spatial signal contains all the information in the left and right channels, but it's the same uh, signal for, for both channels, and that comes out of the sides. So there's no left and right with this soundbar, this is a mono and a spatial soundbar. And what happens is, the mono signal comes out and fills the room, and the spatial signal comes out of the sides, and that mixes with the mono signal in the air. And so wherever you're sitting in the room, the two signals interact with each other and turn into stereo. So you perceive a, a balanced stereo sound field, or a balanced spatial sound field, no matter where you are in the room. And it works. It's, it's a little bit hard to believe, but the, the technology behind it is actually, has, has been used in re the recording process for many, many, many years. Um, and this is the first product that uses it in a, in a playback scenario. Um, it's, it's a different way of thinking, but for the purposes of having a soundbar or a, a listening device in a room where you're not going to be positioned in a particular place, it offers real advantages. And the other big advantage is that we're able to create a very wide sound from a product that's very small. Normally we're used to seeing products that are very long and have uh, a big distance between the speakers. And the reason for this is you're, they're trying to position the listener between them. We don't need that, so we're able to make the product very compact, yet it has a very engaging and wide sound. This particular product comes with a wireless subwoofer. This is connected with a, um, a low latency 2.4 gigahertz link. In fact, it's a, it's a system that we've specially developed to have a very, very low latency so the sound is unified and together. And this can go anywhere within uh, 8 meters of the sound bar. We'd recommend it's within a couple of meters because that sounds best. But it's wireless for convenience. Uh, the soundbar itself has a Bluetooth input. It also has an optical input, which is the one we recommend for use with TV. And it also has uh, two analog inputs which mix. So that's listed as aux there. We have this control panel, and it comes with a remote control that supports uh, Bluetooth playback control. Um, it, it can remote control the volume of the subwoofer, adjust treble, things like that. And when uh, are we likely to see it in the actual shops? Well, these products are in fact uh, being made ready for sale as we speak. They will be launched in March 2013 and uh, we're looking forward to seeing them replace our current products which have been very successful. Great, thank you very much. No problem at all.